All right, game number one. Here we lost. Now we're going to be on the draw. It's okay. This hand looks... I mean, this hand is good. I just have a feeling my opponent is on living end, if I remember correctly. I might be misremembering, but the name is familiar. Still going to keep it. They might not be on living end. Oh. The Flooded of Strands. Okay. I'm just going to leave it on the halfling here and pass the turn. Is it Domain? I forget. They were on something yesterday. My, oh, it might be Domain. Maybe, maybe. Plain Swamp Island. Plain Swamp 4. Oh, it's Rhinos. It's Rhinos. Okay. Domain Rhinos. Well, it's kind of okay. We're going to have to use our wall mana here to progress our board, but I think we have to we have to kind of do that. Want to make sure that we can stick a Yogg next turn. No, not the gemstone caverns, no. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. So... Now the question is, I mean, we could just play the Yawgmoth here and just hope that they don't have fire, or hope they don't have violent outburst. Or we could, like, set up for Yawgmoth. So we could go, we can go Strangle Root Geist this turn, and then the next turn we can go Yawgmoth plus Hapatra, but my concern is a subtlety, so I think we kind of have to go for it here. They did have the subtlety, pitching another subtlety. Putting that right back on top. We'll pass turn. Hopefully they don't also have the violent outburst. They also have the violent outburst. Okay. Well, they only have two cards in hand after this, so hopefully we'll be okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So if if all is well, then we can play Hapatra and Yogmoth next turn, and we'll be fine. So we'll just take this. We suspend something, they do this. Okay, so this is good. So we, we're gonna... Like, the only thing they could have here be like an ice. Okay, nice. 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 Uh, let me just make sure we have all the relevant mana. So... Goose is going to, we can do one, two, three, four, yeah. Let's get a forest here. One, two, three, four, yeah, okay. Let's double check and making sure I'm not miscounting. So we do this, we do this, and we do black mana, we do Hapatra. Hi, just got back from the tournament with 4-1 with Mr. Yogma. Oh, very nice. I'm testing the new Massacre Girl on the sideboard against Rhino Zoo. It's a scam match with lots of beasts, and I don't mind it for now. What do you think? Um, I don't think that card is playable in our deck, unfortunately. I think... So when you think of four, when you think of four drop slots in our deck, obviously there's what? There's Yogmoth and there's Shieldred, right? Um... Anything else is kind of very hard to justify being in the 75. Um, so unfortunately, I don't think... Well, the new Massacre Girl is very cool. I don't, I don't think that she's viable in our deck. Do I want to go to three here? I think I do. It's a little dangerous. We ha did not find a cord. It's unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to discard one of the Grists here, and I guess one of the Fetch Lands. Like the Massacre Girl, I like Wither. You put, put Wither on a creature, oh, immediately interested. But I think she's a little bit too... She doesn't do anything on her. Like, Yawgmoth is great because he does something immediately when he comes into the battlefield, if there's under, other creatures, right? But, oh, nice, got the first game. But... Hapatra, 
I mean, not Hopatra. Oh, Massacre Girl, unfortunately, I don't think she's going to get there. Yeah. It's like, you play her, and then you pass the turn. And, or you, you can, like, try to attack, but if they kill her in response, then you get blown out. It's, I don't know, it's too, I think it's too much of a, too much wishful thinking, I think. So, Rhinos. Uh, they are playing a Triumph, so it's most likely the Domain version of Rhinos. So, in that case, we want Pick Your Poison. So... We didn't see. God damn it! Hello, Dastor. Hello, hello. Welcome. We didn't see the. We didn't see any um, of the ley line, but we did see a triome. So I like makes me think that they're the that version. So, rhinos. We bring this. We bring in this, and then these. And then, where's Rhinos? I'm, I need a board fast. So we take out one Young Wolf. We take out two Grist. We take out two Bowman. Take out one of the Strangle Root. One Haywire. Um, yeah, Endurance. Okay. Have you seen the lists with the one of Scorn Blade Berserker? I have. I don't think that's very good. What are we playing against? We're playing against Domain Rhinos. Or I'm I'm assuming it's Domain Rhinos because they're playing a Triome. So we didn't actually see like the Scion or we didn't see the Scion or the Guild Pact. Uh, this hand is too bad against Rhinos. This hand is also terrible against Rhinos. Okay. Well, uh, gotta get lucky, I guess. Put back these two. One later, one later. Aye, aye, aye. It's okay. I will draw a land. That easy. I would like a fetch land here because then we could play around ice, but can't do everything. Isn't Mike great against Domain Rhinos, both Ley Lines and Scions? Well, you can't target Scions with the Mike. But you are correct. I I kind of had a brain fart. I'm like, oh, it's Rhinos. Might is I take out Mike versus Rhino. <laughs> but yes, yes, you're right. Maybe I need to shave down to his mustache to get these draws. True? I told you, you just gotta will what you want to the top of the deck. It's that easy. My opponent will not have a... Okay. My opponent will not cast Shardless Agent. They're not gonna do it. God damn it. I would really like to draw... Pick your poison. Not had the pleasure of doing that. So, I mean, this is a pretty rough position to come back from. We can play a wall, and then we can have a court up for one, two, three, four, five, six. So, I guess that's our, our best chance is like trying to double cord into a Patra and then untap cord into Yogmoth. So. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. It's probably not likely, but we'll see. A block here, block here to soak up some of the damage take a lot 
Are you planning to try the control for days list with Sam and Cat? I already did this morning. I did not like it. Wait, why didn't my wall take any damage? Oh, it does. It's just not, it doesn't show up like it usually does. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it was too, it was too weird. Let me get this. It was just too, I don't know, too many, too many one ofs. There was like, the deck has like seven one ofs or something crazy like that. So, I mean, even if we get Hapatra here, it's probably not going to do it, but we'll see. My opponent will not have anything. They have four cards in hand. They're not going to have anything. I'm going to untap here and it's going to be fine. Excellent. So, play out the half links. It's free, and then stop them at their upkeep. Um. Well, the thing is, even I, I kind of have to go to blocks here because if I. If I just cord before blocks, then I'm just dead. So I need to, let's go to blocks. Let's go here, 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 like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay, that's fine. So we can sack the, we have to sack the halfling here and then we have to shrink the rhinos. Well, we're going to kill the scion and then shrink the rhinos. Well, chalice, you're a little bit late. Come on. Am I, oh, am I just dead? I might be dead to trample damage because this is going to be 1-1. One, one. Oh, I'm dead to trample damage by 1, I think. So that's going to go to 4. This is going to go to 3. Ah, yeah, the 1 trample damage is going to kill me. Damn it. Okay. Oh, close, close. If we untap there, we're still... I mean, we have the Legion's End, but no cord. So we can bring in the Haywire Mike because I forgot that we're against that version. We could take out one Soul Cauldron, I think. I usually, I actually kind of like Soul Cauldron in this matchup because we can get back our Yawgmoths. But I think we need to probably cut it to make room. No, maybe we can cut a goose instead. I'd like goose because it can give us food. Oh, let's try like this. All right. We're going to be on the plate. Yes. Give me something good. And that was a mold five too, by the way. That was kind of that was kind of decent for mold five. Um, so this hand is pretty good. Good. The awkward thing is Dryad Arbor, but we have Fatal Push, we have a Grist, and if we draw a land, we can get Yawgmoth, I think. I mean, we can accelerate into Yawgmoth. Yeah, if we draw a land, our Dryad Arbor lives, so I think this is keepable. They also start with seven. We're going to lead with Catacombs to get the Mortuary, see what we have on top. Crashing footballs has hit the suspend. 
get the mortuary. Well, that's a land. Uh, yeah, we can draw that one. Opponent well, has a stopped at the upkeep. You will not draw your card. I will not allow it. We actually haven't seen the ley line in any of the games. Maybe it's just regular rhinos, but regular rhinos wouldn't be playing a triome, right? That doesn't make sense. Cool. There we go. Oh, they played Scion. Bro, I have Amnesia. <laughs> I just forget what happened. I'm like, oh, I never saw the ley line. This isn't Domain Rhino. This is regular Rhino. <laughs> oh, man. I need to wake up. I need to get, like, coffee or something. There's Scion. Okay. I mean, this is good for us. It means they have a relatively slow hand. I apologize. I just got off work. So I am a bit delirious. So we can go like, we can slam Yawgmoth, but it's not really good to play Yawgmoth when they don't have anything. So I think it's better we just get the setup first. So we can just go fetch for a forest here, play Halfling, and then play out Grist and Halfling. Then we can make our land drop for turn next turn, which would be Dryad Arbor, but then we'll have more fodder for Yawgmoth. Opponent oh, does not want us to search our library. Yeah, I was trying to get the... <clears throat> so I was preparing the Insidious Root deck to play today. Um, but I tried I tried it before this morning, and mm, it was it was not it. In my in my testing, it was not it. Okay, well they're pitching a subtlety for a grist. That's fine. So we're gonna be playing Yogmoth next turn anyways. So I kind of don't want a grist here. I think I'd rather have something cheaper or have like a cord. I'm gonna play the halfling. They're gonna go for a. That's fine. So they're gonna have three cards in hand. They already used a subtlety. Feeling pretty good. We have a Fatal Push, we have a Yog Moth. Okay, let's see what they milled over. So they milled over three Outbursts. So we know that it's quite likely that they're not going to have Violent Outbursts in their hand. Uh, Fairy, and then one of the Ley Lines. Okay. So let's do this. Play Yog Moth. Resolves, cool. Let's do our land drop return. I don't know if this list also plays Tidebinder. The Seiju is going to be good for when they have a... If they ever get the um, binding. Going to fail push one of those right now. We can pass turn here. They have another one coming off to spend in one turn. Yeah, so we'd have to be careful about that. Binding is fine. So they're going to target Yawgmoth. We're just going to do this right away while we have the legend rule, or while we have a legendary creature. Blow up your Leyline Binding. They get value off of Surveil. Really good. Okay. I will. You will not exile my Yawgmoth. No, thank you. Well, let's go to our turn. Oh, and right on time. Very nice. So I kind of want to draw into more creatures. I feel like this wall has done its job. So we're going to float the mana there. Sack here. That's really good. 
So go for Hapatra. Play Twilight Mire and then go for Hapatra, I think. Cool. Oh. Into another chord. Yes, sir. I will take that. Um, now I feel like I don't need to be holding up the Fatal Push because we know that the thing is coming. The footfalls are coming, so I think playing out the Halfling is fine. Let me could just try to win the following turn. Cooking this boy with my girl Hapatra. Yes, sir. All day, baby. We can all, we're can. we also holding up Emergency Haywire Might. I call it Emergency Haywire Might because uh, it's not... We can't... Emergency Haywire Might means it's we can't activate it right away. So we have to like hope that they don't have a removal spell for it. So it's not guaranteed. They have three cards in hand. They're cycling, that's good for us. They don't, do they even have domain to play? I guess they do, now they do, okay. They draw land. Cool, if they less on tap here, it's gonna be really good. Nice. Oh. I mean. I'll take that. What do you got going on over there? <laughs> this game is too easy, dude. Just draw the cards you need. It smells like desperation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What you got? Let me see that hand. I would like to see your hand, opponent. Trade offer. You lose two of your rhinos, I see your hand. That's pretty good. Yes, but you know, I'm just taking a look. I want to make sure it's safe. I don't know what's in their hand. They could have a ley line binding. If I aggressively cord for a blood artist and they just, and they have a ley line binding in response. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Now I get the blood artist. Make sure I didn't sideboard it out. Yep, okay. I should have tapped Yogg Moth instead. Yeah, for this exact reason. Or I'll just draw the land. I'll, I'll just draw the land. It's fine. I knew I was going to draw the land. Queen Hapatra needs a full art soon. Yes, sir. Hey. There we go. Wrap it up. All right. Game number two here. We're going to be on the play. Would you like to play first? Yes, sir. Always. What do we got? A little bit... You know, it, not the hand where you want to see a goose, but still good enough. We're going to keep it. We got three lands. My bird will live. You will not kill my bird. Please and thank you. Anything that makes... Foil Young Wolves less than a billion dollars would be awesome. Uh, dude, I got my Young Wolves when they were ten dollars. Now they're they're like what forty, fifty, something crazy like that. Uh oh. How did you How did you go on RC Denver? Well, I made day two. Oh wait, hold on. Ooh, this is actually awkward, huh? Because we can't play out. 
Because I could play Grist here, but then we can't play Yawgmoth the following turn, so I guess we don't play Grist here. So then we just play Bowmasters, and then... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. How did you do on RC Denver? I went, uh, I made day two, and then I lost. I, I ended up going nine and three, ultimately. But I still had a great time. A very, uh, very fun time. Media, I, so I missed out on prizing by one loss. Uh, if I if I went X and four, I would have made prizing. If I went X and three, I would have made the, the PT. So it's very close, but I was very happy that I made day two. I was very happy that uh, I was with my friends, having a good time, meeting all the fans was, was super, super awesome to me. I, if jo, uh, J G, Japolese twenty eight. If you if you care at all about like how the report went, or if you want to hear more in depth, I did have I do a video on my YouTube that you can check out if you'd like. I think we're pretty fine to just get a forest here. Ooh, okay. Let's ping them. Gloomy Marsh is good. Oops. Okay, hold on. Eh. Let's do this first, because I don't want to accidentally make a food. So, there. So... We might just be dead here, unfortunately, because we can't kill the Dryad. Don't do they still play the One Ring, or do they not play the One Ring anymore? Amulet Titan. Oh, there's a Titan. Okay. It's still on the ring. I feel like I just haven't seen it the last couple of the the last couple of games I played against Titan. I just haven't seen them have the ring. Why can't my Titan opponents have the ring hands when I have a Bowmaster? Come on. So if we can make it, if we can survive this turn, we will be in a good spot. They trim it versus Yogg, that makes sense. So they're gonna get they can get Valakut and they can get another land. They can get Valakut and then Vesuva. Oh well that if that's gonna be bad if they get those. We'll see what they get. I imagine the grabs here are just Valakut Vesuva. Or double Valakut. Okay, yeah, we're dead. Vesuva can't copy Valakut if they enter the together. Oh, yeah, you're right. They'll, they just get the two Valakuts instead. <laughs> so, bringing in Force, bringing in Fulminator Mage, bringing in... Mm. Amulet. We can try to pick your poison. Bring in all this, take out one of those, take out two of these. Take out two of these, take out one of those, and then take out one of these. Run it back. Pick your poison might be worth it. Oh yeah, we're definitely trying out. I still have not drawn pick your poison this whole time that I've I played with it this morning. I never drew it. I played with it yesterday. I didn't draw it. It was rough. Uh, okay, so let's see here. So this hand has no hate, but we have a cord. Oh, we can't even play turn two Grist. We have both Grist in our hands that we shaved on anyways. But if we go, 
we go Paseju, Halfling, and then next turn we go Wall of Roots, Dryad Arbor. We have a cord for one. And then if we untap, we have cord for one, two, three, four, five. No, this is terrible. Fall again. No! <laughs> Do we risk it? Do we risk it? Oh my god. No, I feel like this is so bad. I mean, we have a force. If we don't draw a land, we just lose the game, though. <sighs> okay, but si Silas, what if I draw the land? What if I draw the land? <laughs> all right, all right. What are these one land hands, dude? Essentially one land hands with Dried Arbor. So I guess we keep this. Uh, we can throw back the Cauldron. If you draw the land, it's not even that mind-blowing. What? You don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going down to four, so I have to keep this. So... We start off with Dried Arbor... We start off with this, this. I guess we just throw back the Dryad Arbor. Because I want to play... Yeah. Not the best. Well, we can pick your poison here. Cool. So we can go wall into each opponent sacrifices an artifact. It's a sign of weakness. I hope so, because that's what we need. They kept seven. Expedition map. Sure. I feel like I don't care about expedition map. What is this? Oh, it's from Ixalan. Okay. All right, give me something good. It's not bad. So, uh, my thinking here is like, do I want to keep a green card in my hand right now? I don't think I necessarily need to. Yeah, I mean, we, we're, we are, we're on a mold of five. We have to get lucky anyways. So I feel like this is what we have to do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So land drop. So, I mean, I think we just main phase force here. You know what? Oh, I just forgot to attack here. Damn it. I don't think that's going to really determine the outcome of this game. We're going to get what? Teleria West here? The Saga. Okay, that makes sense. The Danger Noodles versus Argway versus Titan, true. Not if they kill us before that, though. 
Uh, all right, we, we need a hero off the top. And that hero is Yogma. My opponent could be thinking about playing a second Dryad. That would be pretty bad. I mean, anything would be pretty bad here. Okay. Yogmoth. I mean, we get a, uh, we get to look at Yogmoth with the Surveil Land, at least. Um, I think I'll put the counter on the Halfling. Yield until next end step. Cool. All right. We need the world's best surveil right here, please. One time. What do we got? Get that in the graveyard. All right. Yogmoth, please and thank you. That's not Yogmoth, but I mean, that helps. Reclamation Station. Just send with all these. Uh, I guess I'll put another counter here. All right, what do you got? I'm doing my best with the, the draft shaft beat down. Getting in there. We have one, two, three. Okay, that's not good. They get Dryad. They play Dryad. But it's probably they're probably doing that because they can afford to pay for it next turn. I feel like this is a limited format. Yep. <laughs> oh boy. Well, at least they can't really. I hope they can't tighten us next turn at least because they have to pay for a summon respect. I mean that's good. Yeah. I mean, we take those. Sacrifice here, target there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um... Do I want to do it again? Yeah, I guess I will. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What can they do here? Play a grazer? They have a dismember here? That doesn't work. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay. What did we kill with Pick Your Poison? We killed an amulet with it. Felt pretty good. The draft chaff beat down. Hapatra? You don't even need Yagma. She's her own woman. Come on. Come on. Mold of five. Let's go, baby. Deviated, not David. Why'd I call you David? All right, we're going to be on the draw now. It's going to be hard. Do you guys have a favorite token? A favorite token. Is this your favorite token? Is this your favorite token? Uh, so they're mulling to six. This hand doesn't do anything. I think we have to mull as well.
This hand is quite good. So we're going to keep this one. Keep put back Pendlehaven. I kind of like the goose. Um, because if this hand really, it has a lot of hate, right? It has two pieces of hate. And I like being able to make multiple pieces of food if we get to that point. So I think we can put back the land. Okay. What you got, opponent? Saga, okay. You hate goose. Goose is goaded. What are you talking about, dude? But the card overall. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's definitely not the best mana dork, right? There's definitely better options we could have. But I think it's the best one of mana dork. Like, it's, it's, it's the best mana dork under a cauldron. Well, okay, that, hold on. <laughs> it, it makes food under a cauldron. One mana stone rain, yeah. That's pretty that's probably the best it's gonna get. So here I think we have enough mana where we can just get a forest, try to keep our life total high, play wall of roots, and we can play out the geese. After losing to burn at the RCQ, I first served my opinion on goose. Card is cracked. Yep. It's got it. There you go. It's ha it does have spillover versus burn. Like without goose, we're not really respecting burn anymore. Right? So, I feel like Goose does a pretty nice job of mitigating that. So, I could run out Zulaport and Halfling here, or I could run out Cauldron. There's really no reason for me to play Cauldron right now, though. So, I think we're fine to. I could just play Halfling and make a food, but I think I like just going Halfling and Zulaport. Just go. Oh, no. I should not be doing this. I I have made a mistake. I have made a serious mistake. I forgot that Titan players are playing board wipes on the sideboard now. Uh-oh. This might be really bad. Well, they don't need two red. They have the fire spout from Shadowmoor. Okay. All right, no red. No red. Okay. All right, we definitely need some help here. Uh, it's, it's not going to cut it. So, yeah, let's just go to combat first. What did they bounce back to their hand? Oh, Radiant Fountain. That's good. Uh oh. Don't do it. Oh, okay. Nothing at four. That's good. Oh. Well, hello there. So. We can go to combat first. Shell is pretty good when both players aren't doing anything. Let's just hope they don't have a dismember in their hand. I feel like they definitely have a dismember here. 
Like, what else would they have in their hand, right? What? Yep. Dismember. That's not good. They were one turn away from uh, Titan Mana. And then they have an uh, Ambulant coming down in two turns. Uh oh. They're getting something right now. They're getting a Dryad. Okay. Guess they just wanted to not take damage. Force of Vigor, I wish, dude. Well, I have to pay four next turn, so... Let's play this now. I guess we could try to high roll something. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Hey, we don't have anything on top of our library. There's nothing there. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I misclicked. Ah, oh, there was something good on top. I wanted to put in the graveyard. Ah, oh, I misclicked. Oopsies. Now, 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 now. Um, this is a May ability, right? May search, yeah. So, goose kid in there for one. Oh, true. Um, I will put on the goose. So I'm not going to search. Nope. They have to pay four here. It's quite good. I'll make a food. Drawer. Um, just gonna go for it. Going to use all of my mana for my creatures, so if I draw something, I can play it. No lands in hand is notable. That's good to know. Okay. So I need to hit a land drop here. Land drop one time. No land drop. Oh my gosh. So. I don't think I'm dead. If, even if they play a Titan next turn. I mean, they're going to, they're going to get an amulet, right? Is there a reason you can't go for a wolf and draw more cards? I mean, I can go for a wolf, but I draw, like, what, one card? Oh, oh, you mean before. Yes, you're right. I guess I was just trying to high roll into Hapatra, because if we go, if I just draw a land in my first five cards there, I win. Whereas if I draw into another cord after getting the young wolf, I don't. we don't have enough damage to kill them there. But maybe we could have found a force. Yeah, I was just thinking we could have drawn a land in those cards, and then been okay. Um, 
Um, so playing the wall, it's probably better. It soaks up the most amount of damage. Because then if we, as long as we are able to survive, Well, I think we're okay, right? Like, they don't have a Dryad in play. If they're going to tap out for a, a Titan, we can block it with the Wall of Roots. I think we'll be fine. We're not dead. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Because they can get a Titan. They're going to get the Amulet. They're going to get a Titan. They can haste the Titan. I guess we have to dodge double Titan. There's the Titan, yep. So they have one card in hand and then whatever they drew for turn. We do need to have another creature with a potch from, but I think we can. Three, four. We'll see. We also have food. We might not even need to block. We'll see. Oh! Bradley! What's the hardest they can hit you here? I believe the hardest they can hit me here is for 16. Because they can give their Titan vigilance, vigilance tramp, or the vigilance and haste and double strike, and but they can only buff it once, so they can. It's gonna be eight. Oh, what is this? They're gonna make four mana. They're not giving their thing haste. They can double strike you with just, yeah, but eight, eight times two is, they can double strike with just one amulet though. Can they? Oh yes, they can. Yeah, 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 they can. Oh, uh, if it's two Titans and this is going to be, oh my God. Okay, now we have a problem. Can he haste both Titans? Um, depending on what version they have. I have to make the decision now. Because if, if they have the one mana one, right? If they have the one mana card, which we haven't seen, then we are pretty screwed. Because I know some Titan players have switched to that version. This happened when I turned tuned in last time. I guess I'm bad luck for your Titan matchups. No, you're fine. But we still, it still is yet to be seen if we're dead. Okay. This is just one. This is just one. This is fine. Well, well, Chris, they, they actually could have done two if they had the Hanawar Battlements card, but they did not have Hanawar Battlements. Oh, oh yeah, we're chilling, baby. We're chilling. Um, just making sure that I'm not missing anything here. It's just eight damage. It's eight damage, and then they have one mystery card in hand that we don't know about.
What are they doing? I'll take eight, yeah. My opponent will not have the dismember. They will not have it. That's fine. Hanor Battlements have been around for a while now. Yeah. This is why I get the Zulaport, baby. I love Blood Artist, but Zulaport in this exact situation, so good. One. Oops. Uh, yep. Primeval Titans are no more. Bye-bye. Apostra MVP. So good. Oh, and we drew, we drew the pick your poison. <laughs> the queen. Do you think they noticed their life was going down? Okay, they saw it. <laughs> nice. We take those. Nice ring. Nice $100 card. Oh, wait, just kidding. All right. Game number three here. We did not win the die roll. We're going to be on the draw. It's okay. It's okay. The big... Yep. I can't... Okay. For a moment, I thought Titan was going to be the winner. Me too. I thought I was dead. So, they're starting with seven. We don't know what we're up against. This is a very mopey uh, hand. I think we're going to throw it back. This hand is also... Pretty bad. But I kind of don't want to go down to five. We'll see. Okay. I just put you on the bottom. Oh my god. My quarter call. Looks like it's domain. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know if domain runs these lands. I'll take a blooming marsh. We do need to hit our land drops. Oh God, is this rhinos? Domain rhinos again? White, blue, blue, ardent plea. Oh, the fairy. Dude, come on. All four of them. We put the fourth one to the bottom. Court. Not right now. Um, I mean, we have nothing else to do with our mana, so go Endurance. Go go get bounced by Teferi. They have a companion. Oh! No, they don't. They have a Teferi effect. The companion is the heart. The heart symbol. Okay, welcome back, Endurance. Hello. Oh, this might be creativity, but I feel like creativity doesn't play two triumphs, do they? Okay. Well, I still can't cast anything instant speed, so uh, endurance, go get him. How do you get my eyes check? No, you're good. Looks like Nomnath. Is it? I feel like this is creativity. These look like creativity lands. Maybe I'm tripping.
Oh, it is creativity. Die, Teferi, die. No. God damn it. Prismatic bending. How do you beat the Elishnor in the sideboard? Just race it. Uh, I pretend it doesn't exist. If you pretend it doesn't exist, then you're good. Uh, probably just get a Bowmasters here. I pretend to not see it. My opponent will not draw the land. Thank you. Which ETB effects do you really care about? I care about you. <laughs> no, Big Illustrator. I know what you're talking about. I pretend to not see... Oh. What do they... What do they do? They just do nothing? Okay. Oh, masters. So... Their hand has to be like all gas, which is really annoying. I could play out Haywire Might. Well, let's play out Yog Moth first. And play out Haywire Might. Okay, they drew the land. I'm not going to fetch here. I'm just gonna wait. Oh! I mean, that's pretty good. Um, I kind of want to get this off of the field first, though. The sorcery speed thing is really annoying. Everyone at Teferi, go, go, go. The queen? Nice. So now we have unlocked our Court of Callings. So I could play Hapatra here. And then we could still have a Court up for... What? For two? So we'll, just, we'll throw her out. I know it's a little bit dangerous. But I think it's still fine. Green, red, ren and ticks. Ren and sixty dollars. So they could have a leyline binding here, which is going to be not the worst. Okay. I'm still not going to fetch here. It's pretty good. So we'll play this out. We're going to go to combat. Do I want to send... I think I'm going to send these both at that and then them, this at them. Leyline bindings are your opponents keeping your... Are just your opponent keeping your Yogg safe so you can get it back later. True! They're just so nice. They're like, oh, you know what? I'm going to put your Yawgmoth. You know what? Your Yawgmoth, I like that guy so much. I'm going to put him under here, under a nice little binding. He's going to take a nap. And they come back later. Minus one snake. I know, I know. It's okay. The snakes will have their time to shine. 
Green. Red. Running six. You got it. Uh, I would like to draw a card. I would like to flash in a Bowmasters. White, blue. Reprieve, sure. I would like to flash in a Bowmasters. <laughs> Alright, now I will fetch. Hey, nice. Okay. Your minus one fizzle but puts your planeswalker back to three. Yep. Put your plane. Yeah, take it down. Uh, take it. Take it back up. Wait, no, no. Take it down to one. <laughs> All right, creativity. Um, pick your poison is probably too slow. We need to be playing at instant speed with creativity. So I think I just want the forces. And the two fatal push for their tokens. I think this is fine. Used to be I used to bring in Thoughtseize in this matchup, but I don't have Thoughtseize on the sideboard right now. Yeah, pick your poison only hits. I mean, oh, wait a minute. Pick your poison does hit Archon. Hmm. It hits Archon, it hits enchantments. Okay, on your most recent vid, I skipped ahead till the end. What does that mean? Hey, bud. What are you doing? Should I go back and watch the other parts? What do you mean? Take out Wolf, take out One Cauldron, take out Strangle Root, take out Endurance, Meow. take out One Goose. Yeah, why'd you, why'd you skip all the way to the end? Go, I mean, you can watch it if you want to, you don't have to. I'm just thinking, should I put Pick Your Poison in? Because it does take out Archon, and it can also make them sack an enchantment. The dinner pick was going to make the vid. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't put in any pictures. That was just me yapping. Maybe I should. I probably should have put in pictures, huh? Maybe we go two force, one pick. It's also playing from behind, true. And I never play from behind. I'm always in the head. I'm, al <laughs> I'm always in the head. I'm always ahead. I don't know where my flip-flops went to. I had sandals here. Hey, David. Hello, hello. How are you doing? It would be nice to not have... It would, nice to, it would be nice to have zero Archons. Oh, zero outs to Archon. True. Uh, I mean, this hand is good if they have things, but I like other things. This hand is kind of awkward because we can't go halfling turn one. I think I keep it though. Probably put back the haywire might. Land. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> Just returned by trying Samwise, Cat, and Yogg, Feast Ruined. I'm going to keep that on top. Yeah, I played that this morning, and it just didn't... I did not... I did not vibe with the deck. It was not for me. I felt like it was... I, I had a lot of the times where I had Insidious Roots, I just didn't want it in my hand. Uh, and I wanted to play something else. It was just... It just didn't, did not feel good.
Okay. I don't know how my cat did this, but when I was at Denver, um, what is that? When I, when I was at, I have his, his treats, his treats are at the top of my closet. They're all the way up at the top. Like he cannot get to them. When I got home, I, I got home and his bag that were, that was all the way at the top of the closet was all the way on the floor and it had been ripped open. And now he knows that they're up there and now he just whines at me. <laughs> the car is innocent. <laughs> uh, I guess that's fine. After these days of testing, do you feel like second surveil land, second Twilight Mire is better than second surveil land? Maybe I want to try with two surveil lands. I've just been a bit uh, worried because that's like three tap lands we play in the deck, right? So, I don't know. I was okay. I was thinking that maybe we don't play Yogmoth here. Because they, I feel like they have a binding into a creativity. But maybe it's fine. Buddy. What our name's Grist. So them naming Grist makes me, makes me think that they have binding here plus creativity uh, on the next turn. Binding, yep. So this, I should have, I should just not have played anything. and should have just held on to the the hell out of the cord. We can try to draw into a force here, though. Um, and then this is fine. So I'm gonna do this. This is fine. And then if they do go creativity archon, we can uh replay Yogmoth next turn. Buddy. Ah, they ping. Yep. That's Margrify Archon, yeah. So then Hey, what are you doing? So I can play this, play out Yogmoth again. We're not dead, but we're not in a good spot either. We're gonna take nine. Court progress and kill Archon, but is that the right move? I can't. Oh, I could have. Oops. I thought this made I thought this made it so I can't do abilities either. Reading the card explains the card. I think I do both here. Okay. Right. Well, it didn't matter anyways because they had a second creativity, so that would not have done it. So do I just want the three fours? Copium, copium. It hits ability. No, I trust me. It hits abilities. You guys are just misreading the card. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, probably just want third force. Hey, hello, hello. How you doing? It's not the hand we want to see versus creativity. Ah, uh, okay. We're going to five. Keep throwback shieldred throwback. Wrist. Unfortunate one lander into one lander. Or sorry, I don't know if the first hand was a one lander, but it was triple Yogmoth, and we're not keeping that. Hello, hello, Matt. How you doing? Oh. Honor Heater Belf Belf Belfie, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. It's surveillance time. Do I want that though? Like, I don't know if I want that. Probably not. No. If I had a way to get Yogmoth into my graveyard, maybe. Think okay. Well, the halfling is nice here. Hopefully, it lives. If the halfling lives, then it's good. Oh, what are you doing? They shock. So this is a reprieve. Come on. Papa needs a... Oh! Hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you, Jeremy. So... Yeah, I just don't want to play Yogg here with nothing. So I'm just going to play a tap land and get in for one. Realize you weren't following... Oh my gosh. Hey, buddy, look at me for. This, is, this looks like a reprieve or looks like a Leyline Binding. Island Swamp Mountain... Planes. Wait, stop. Bro, my cat is looking at me. What are you looking at me for? Love to see Fable. Jeremy? Uh oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Jared, my bad. Why is this open? There we go. I apologize, Jared. I'm sorry. I know your name was Jared. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> God damn it. Why would you do this? Why would you do this to me? Hi, buddy. My cat is so confused. He doesn't know who I'm talking to. <laughs> so, I'm just going to swing here. <laughs> my cat. <Ooh>! God. <laughs> Who's doing all this? David. Oh, my gosh. Hey, buddy. Jared. <laughs> His name is probably Mark. No. Hopefully they discard here. No discard. Cool. That's either really good or really bad. I mean, it's good because maybe our Bowmaster is scaring them and they don't have removal for it, but it could be bad. Oh. Damn. Okay, what well, is a binding? 
So let's sack the halfling to try to draw something. That's not bad. Okay. Oh, well, I wish I would have sacked my Bowmasters. Grist is going to be too slow here. So I think I want to just hold up double Bowmaster this turn. Because I might need to hit their Fable. Probably just dead here. I feel like they're going to fetch and then creativity. One, two, three. Hey, buddy. Okay, well, at least we get Bowmasters in. I'm going to target their Reflection. Target the Reflection again. Hey, what are you doing? It's reflection killing time. I don't know why they're doing this. Damn. I should have double bow mastered Ren, so it took it and taken it down to one. What would have? What would that have done? I, I'd rather take out the reflection. I don't. I don't think we can ever let them untap with the reflection. Damn. Is it stabilizing time? I don't know. When it was at two? No, I don't really care about Ren all that much in this matchup. I care I care a lot more about a flipped fable and copying an Archon of creativity. Yeah. Buddy, stop biting me. Okay, you go down. So we have a couple different lines to take here. So I'm, I think I'm going to, like, we can swing the Orc Army token at Ren. I can't, I can play Grist, I can uptick. Ooh, maybe I like that. Play Grist, uptick, and then cord for Haywire Might. Right? One, two, three, and then I have one, two, three. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I can. I can. Yes, I can. So, and then I... Wait, no, I can't. One, wait, one, two, three. Grist, and then plus. I can't do that. No. Because I need triple, I need the green to sack the, the Haywire Might. I'm not going to have it because I need triple green to cord. Right? Am I high? Because I go one, two, three for Grist, plus on Grist. And then I have Mortuary. Twilight Mire feeds for double green. Yeah, I can't. Hmm. Two. Wait, can I do it the reverse way? Am I stupid? No, I can't. If only Orcish Bowmasters was green, true. I will simply mill Grist, true. So then Well, Steeblo, that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. Like I can cord for Grist, I can cord for Haywire Might here. But I can't also play Grist. So if I cord for Haywire, I might get the Leyline Binding. But we're not really in a good position because they can just bounce it with... Cord for Might, wait for Grist. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's what I'm talking about. I think this is what we have to do. 
Let's go with the Ren and Six. It just really sucks with Teferi out. Can't you get that with the token being green? Well, I can, but then I can't use... The, I, I won't have any green mana to pop the Haywire Might. Because I would need... I would cast... I would tap 1, 2, 3, right? I would get the Grist in play. I would plus here, and then I would need triple green if this was untapped to get the Haywire Might. And then I wouldn't have a mana left over. So let's just do this. Undo, undo. I think this is probably our best way to victory. So we cord for one, we get Haywire Might, but then we don't activate it, we just wait. All right. Isn't Grist also a creature? You can't no, not on the battlefield. Grist when Grist is a creature everywhere else except the battlefield. If you could, if you could tap Grist for Corda Calling, oh, oh, that'd be so that'd be so much fun. Oh baby, I'm going to uh, tap my Planeswalker sideways uh, for me. <laughs> I love when you tap permanents. I love when you can tap permanents that make no sense to be tapped. How much is Grist right now? Is Grist still like $5? When I got Grists like two years ago, they were $5. <laughs> okay, if you could do that, I'm fail pushing Grist. Uh, it's not a creature. It's not a creature. You can't do that. <laughs> That's a paper only play. True. No, no. That's not a good point. No. Versus like 10. Okay, so it's still reasonable. Very jealous of your foil wolfies. Hey, you should have played the deck ten, two years ago when they were $10. <laughs> oh, the shit. Oh, it has the prices in here. MH2, 7. Secret Lair. Nice. Ooh. Secret Lair Gris is $20. I told you. I told you. Card's good. What did I tell you? I told you nothing. I kept missing my opportunity when a playset pops up. Oh yeah, I guess it makes sense. You want to buy it all from the same person. Let's see, how much are they now? When uh, during the RC, my friend, I was looking at the prices and they were like $35, $40. Maybe I, I think that might have been because people were like buying them out though. So Twelve dollars right now. For if you want a mod moderately played young wolf, they're twenty five at foil one. If you want a light played to near mint, they're forty to fifty, baby. Yes, sir. Willing to trade full set of grist normal art plus cash for full set of borderless. Uh uh No, I like the I like the silly art ones. I got my silly art grists for ten dollars. Ten dollar non foil. Just pulled the trigger on borderless grist and signed playmat. Wish it would have got here. Oh yeah, that that was right. The artist was doing the signed playmat right. Stops. We're buying the butcher shop with this one, baby. Oh, interesting. So they're they're not pinging the haywire mine. Okay. They're not doing anything. They have four cards in hand. I'm assuming one of them is a removal spell. And I'm assuming the other one is... Okay, let's read this card again. Choose a card name. Spells with the chosen name. Enchanted player cast costs two more. Okay, so this is not going to screw over my haywire mic. Reading, a <laughs> reading pog.
Court of Calling, sure. Well, hello. So, I'm not going to swing with the Haywire Might. I think I'm just going to swing with the Orc Army token at the Renin 6. And then I'm going to play Grist. I kind of want a down tick to take out the Teferi, but then that gives us less things to use. That gives us less bodies to sack for the Yogma. So maybe we're fine to just plus here. This this being a this is just so annoying. Hey, so magic plays still know how to read. That's true. What do you guys think? The fairy making us play at sorcery speed is really, really annoying. And they could also do their stuff at flash speed. But then we can make more bodies with Grist by plus. We already have a Yogmoth here. Yeah, that makes sense. Minus two next turn, yeah. Is Grist at two? Might is relatively useless with Teferi, right? Yogmoth isn't very good as a Hearthstone card. Might is relatively useless? What do you wait, what do you mean? So okay, the, they're forcing us to act right now. So Ah, I see. This was their master plan. Yeah, yeah. No, if Teferi was... If Teferi was... Instant for... You can't activate abilities? Oh my god, dude. That'd be insane. So this is actually still fine. Like, we don't care about an Archon that much. We're going to sack the Orc Army token, discard Force, and then ping the Teferi. No, this is totally fine. I'm happy with this. Fable, Fable, Fable. I love to see a Pioneer card, baby. Let's go. All right. What is this? Spells with the chosen name and Chanticleer cast cost two more. So I have to tap a whole Habita Hibita. They draw when you cast. Well, that's fine. I'm thinking about getting the queen. Um, wait, 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 wait. So, hold on. I need to cast it for two. I need to cast it for two. So, I have to just tap two more mana, right? So seven total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I'm I'm overpaying. I'm overpaying. Am I overpaying? Am I stupid? Oh my god. What am I doing? I am overpaying. Okay, my bad. Uh 
There we go. Yes, you may draw a card. Oh, they refuse to draw a card. Okay. The queen! Hello, hello. Oh. A pot. Oh. <laughs> oh, I win. <laughs> we also have the green mana for young wolf. So this is Gucci. Yay. <laughs> We're dancing. Making us click through it. I got the fastest click in the West, baby. It's no problem. There we go. Very nice. Cool, cool. 3 0, 3 0 so far. All right. Round number four here, we lost Dire, we're gonna be on the draw, it's okay. Unkeepable hand, you love to see it. Played pitch fifty twice the RC steamroller both speed steamroller them both times. It felt much better matchup these days. Yeah. Creativity just didn't really get anything. What are the main changes you impl implemented? I just have two pick your poison in the sideboard. That's all I have. Dog ball! Oh brew. Um, I mean, this hand also doesn't do anything, but we're on the draw. Oh, this is just so bad. Do we want to go down to five here? Yeah, I feel like we have to. Okay. Throw back Dryad Arbor, throw back one Young Wolf. Okay, now I'm wishing we kept the first hand because it had a, it had a, a Boseju. It's okay. Court is actually not good here because we don't have a third green source. Did your did pick your poison come up? But all the sleep only caught the stream during the last match. Yes, it did. Versus we were versus Amulet Titan in game in like the second round. Felt very nice. We stone rained them. Speaking about amulet, uh, talking about amulet, I think we're against it right now. Well, shielded is a card that is in Magic the Gathering. Oh, look, that word just dead, Pog. Yield until next end step. You should come to the Mexico RC. I want my Yogg sign. Oh, where is it? Send me the address. Give me the give me the date. Give me the time. I probably I'm probably not gonna go, <laughs> but if you tell me, maybe. <laughs> How far is Mexico? I mean, I live in California. That's pretty close. Uh, Bradley, do the calculations for me. Uh, do the calculations. How far is Mexico? Gotten the queen sign. Oh, there's going to be a next time. So March 1st to the 3rd. Uh, yeah. March 1st to Okay. Can't cord here, so just attack. A three and a half hour flight. Okay, but how far uh, if you're like walking? <laughs> Alright, we're probably dead. But you know, if we can untap here and draw land, then we have a chance. But we might just be dead. My opponent will not have a bounce. Uh oh. Hey, no mames. 
My coworkers used to say that all the time. Back when I was a server. Cultivator Colossus? That's not a cultivator. All right. <laughs> So now we're going to bring back in Pick Your Poison. Yeah, March, I can't, I unfortunately can't do March because I'm planning to go to MXP San Francisco in April. And so I don't want to be taking off too much time. I got to, I have to, you know, work for a solid amount of time and then take, then I take a little bit of time off. Because I like to, I like to enjoy the whole event if I can. So I try to take Friday off and then... Like do all fun, do fun stuff, fun side events on Friday, and then do the actual event on Saturday. All right, so we went against this already. We just got to run it back. Uh, take out Wolf. Two G wrist. Two Bowmaster. One Strangle Root, and one Endurance. Okay. All right, we're going to be on the play this time. We're going to have a good hand. Okay. You'll love to see it. We're going to keep it. So hopefully we can draw into another land. That way we can use this Beseju as like a, a spell. That would be the best possible. Radiant Fountain means... Amulet? Yep. Pick your poison can also kill through hexproof. Yeah, that's also really good. Ooh, wall of roots here. Ooh, wall of roots is good because now we can go. Well, we can shock and then we can play wall of roots and then use Beseju to kill the amulet. Do we want to be doing that? 100% play, playing the wall of roots. I'm just seeing if what else can we do if we don't do that. Then next turn. That's probably the best. Yeah, we just just killing the thing on their up uh killing the amulet on their draw step is probably the best thing. Could have also saved that for a bounce land, actually. Maybe that would have better maybe that was better. Grazer, okay. And they float a mana with the Grazer. Oh, I see. Game that's pretty dangerous, yeah. Oh, do they have a Dismember here? Okay, no. Blooming Marsh is nice. So, next turn they can go 1, 2, 3, 4. They're going to have 4 mana. I kind of want to I kind of want to wait. I don't want to throw my Yogmoth out into a dismember just in case. Like I'd rather them use a dismember on a Hapatra. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Cuz again, when you're in a situation like this when you're playing Yogmoth and your your creatures that you have out are Wall of Roots and like your mana dorks, right? You don't really want to be Sacrificing them. The way they're playing very passively makes me think that they have Dismember. Resolved immediately. That's really good. Wow. And we don't need to do anything here. We can just chill. They do have the opponent. They do have the dismember, as I thought.
Ooh, do they have two dismembers here? Cauldron's a great pickup. I'm going to try to kill them here. If we draw to another cord, it's just a kill. That's good to have. Yeah, there we go. Zulapur, target here, sacrifice here. There we go. Nice. All right. Got to run it back. Game three, this one's going to be the hard one. I mean, this hand has three pieces of interaction. They're mowing to six. I think I'm keeping this. It's one. We, I mean, we have the pick your poison. We have force. We have besage you. I think this hand is good enough to keep. Come on, Saga. Put the Saga into play. Damn it. Sakura Tribe Elder. Isn't that like not common? God damn it. Jesus. <laughs> we had it in our hand the whole time. It was in our hand the whole time. <laughs> um Okay. That one's not as loud. Steve! So, I think we're fine to just pass here. Surprise pipe jump scare, yep. Huh. Do I just besage you this here? Besage you with the trigger on the stack, they have to pick up another land. Besage you this with the trigger on the stack, they go get a land and they have one, two. Actually, I'm get I'm just giving them more mana if I do that, right? I can besage you this one. God damn it. It still gives them one mana. Yeah. I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. So it's fine. So they have a forest in hand. So I could blow up. Oh, I think I blew up the growth chamber because this is a Vesuva. Yeah, I think I'm going to blow up this. One, two, three, four. Okay. The backup. Backup coming in hot. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, they have a dismember. 
That's fine. Can we just let that happen? One, two, three, four, five. They still have five mana. Takanuma is pretty good. Uh, I don't think there's a reason to. There's not really a reason to shock here, so I'm just going to play out Yogmoth again. Oh. Felipe Bento, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Hey. So they could have just a regular Titan here, but we don't really care. You got it. Brazil! Go 5 0. Hey, I'm trying. I'm trying to do my best. Adesan garoto tu placa do Maracanã. I don't know what I just said. Brazil mentioned. <laughs> Obrigado. God damn it. Uh, I guess we can go to my turn. So, okay, wall. Let's start by doing this. Let's play wall. That's a good one. Three. I'm just trying to think. I can reset with Dried Arbor and then take it to two and then proliferate. Yeah, okay. Target here, sacrifice here. We want to get this thing off the field as soon as possible, right? So I'm expending my resources as much as I can to get rid of it. Uh, and then I am going to... Do I want to? I think I, I... Yeah, I think... I mean, I can't let them untap with this. So yeah, I'm going to sacrifice my young wolf here. Oh! And we were heavenly rewarded. We're going to proliferate here. Discarding the mortuary. Target there. And then we play out the other young wolf. And back to you, opponent. I should have attacked. People Brazil. There's the amulet, sure. I could be greedy here. Do I want to be greedy here? Yeah. They get a one ring. Summoner's packed, you got it. Target there, target there, throw, pick your poison away. Find time is good. And then next turn they have to pay four. So I think we're chilling. Look at pick your poison, look at that, it's doing the work. You can pitch it to your force. So good. Big chilling. We do kind of need to draw some more cards next turn, though. Or we, did, or we need to draw some creatures. We're kind of light. Our hand isn't the best. Uh, if worse comes to worse, I can talk Anuma for my young wolf. Kind of don't want to do that, but might have to.
Just kidding. Just kidding. So I want to make sure. Oh, I thought this was a wall. Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll get Hapatra. Never didn't have a baby. Always yield. Target there. I'm just going to focus on killing the Titan first before resetting my Young Wolf because I don't want to go down too low. Force number three. Hello, hello. <laughs> Um, and then I'm just going to play out a basic here, because I do want to respect the life total. Uh, we can just discard a fetch land, and then we can just play Hapak, or the build the next turn, and then we're chilling. I do. We're chilling. One ring? Spelunking, you got it. Sure. Summoner's Pact or the Saga. Uh, trigger on the stack. Just going to get these right now. Oh! What soundtrack is this? I like it. It is... Macro Blank. Hey, there we go. Wrap it up. One more. One more. One man talking to him. So many two ones. Hey, they've been they've been pretty good back and forth. Good luck with the trophy. Thank you, thank you. They were it was domain rhinos in the first one, and then amulet, and then creativity, and then amulet again. Oh well, thank you, Bradley. Thank you for coming by. I'll see you later. Let's go. Let's get it. Okay. I'm deviated from Twitch. Have obviously shot. Oh. Oh. Good luck. The person that I'm facing was watching my stream. I mean, they're not watching it anymore. But they told me that it was the mirror match. So, in the mirror, this hand is very close to being good. I mean, it's really strong, actually. I mean, we just need one land, right? And then we're off to the races. We're on the draw. I think I'm going to keep it. My worry is that they're just going to have a lot of acceleration. And we're not going to get there. Okay. That's good for us. Okay. So, I'm going to play the Young Wolf first. I mean, that's the only thing we can do. But I'm going to, if we don't draw a land, I'm going to play... Oh, I don't know. That's interesting. Like, I want to get the Surveil land if I don't draw a land next turn. But I don't know. Okay, I mean, there's a Halfling, but... They're probably going to have Yogg next turn. I mean, it's quite likely, but I think we have to just play the Halfling anyways. We can play the Cauldron... No, I think I'm just gonna high roll it. We have to. I'm gonna play the halfling here. What are your thoughts on analyze the pollen as well? The, a pretty powerful one drop. Uh, I mean, so analyze. That's the one where you have to like collect evidence, right? That one is. I just feel like is. It's fighting our graveyard too much. Like we care about filling our graveyard for grist and for cauldron. And if we have a third card that's also fighting over the graveyard, I don't know. Oh, they do have Yogmoth here.
they are doing the correct thing, which is killing our halfling. But I think this is going to be okay. So I'm going to try to surveil into a land. Okay. We did not draw the land. But we have cauldron. Uh, I kind of want to play... Ah, I don't know, this is rough. I think we play cauldron here. I was also thinking we could hold up Bowmaster so that we could ping their young wolf if they play another creature, and it makes it awkward because then they can't reset on their turn. But I think we're, since we're missing land drops, I think this is just what we have to do. It would have been a much different game if we had our halfling on turn one. Okay, we built up for the land. We kind of wanted that. Okay, well, that's not good. What are your thoughts on the new Massacre Girl? I don't think she's... I think she's not that good in our deck. Because the Wither... Yes, the Wither is very cool, very exciting. But um, it's only with combat damage. And you're playing her on turn four. She doesn't do anything until it goes all the way back to your turn. With Shieldred, at least she immediately impacts the board, right? So... Unfortunately, I think the card is very cool, but I don't think it's good enough, unfortunately. Okay. Bring these in. Well, our hand was good, I think, if we just drew a land, but we did not get there. Why are you crying? Baby. Strangle Root, Endurance, the Goose. Yep. Yeah, if we if we're get, like our four drop slot is very premium, right? Like the only cards we really want it for are Yogmoth. The only reason why Shieldred is in there is because Shieldred is Mondo busted, and she's really good. I think she's the only one of four drop that we really want in the deck right now. I don't think Master Kerr Girl is all that great, unfortunately. But you know, we can't we can't get something new every set, right? We gotta we have there have to be some sets that come and go, and we get nothing to make the deck balanced. Master Girl is bad by herself. Shelly not so much. Exactly. Also that. Massacre Girl cannot stand alone. Sh uh, Shieldred can definitely stand alone. All right, we're going to be on the play for this one. So we're going to want to look for a fast Yawgmoth here. Uh, this does not do it. We don't have any acceleration. We have cords that we can't use because we don't have triple green, so we have to throw us back. Um... I do like this one. I think we're going to keep and we can throw back Haywire Might. Then we can have... Yeah. So we have a relatively... 
Like we have removal, and then we if we have if we just draw into more things, then we can cord pretty fast. I think this is okay. I wanted to surveil here, but this is a dork we have to kill. That's a good pickup. All right, if, we, if they have Legion's End, we lose the game. My opponent will not have Legion's End. I also heard we're going back to Innistrad set. I'm hoping we can get new Undying cards or mechanics similar. Yep, true. So this means that they're holding up a Bowmaster. Uh, Grist, so Grist is good here, but let's think. So if we go Wall of Roots. So it's obviously they have a Bowmaster here. So I think it's probably better to go for the second wall of roots here because then we can hold up a cord for it's going to be better for a cord of the following turn. So I think this is actually the better play than to just because if we run on grist here and they have a bowmasters here, right? They ping our thing and then grist isn't dead but it's in danger. Yeah, so they have bowmasters. They're going to ping us, and then now we can ping them. And then on their turn, we're going to have a cord for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, if necessary. If we drew a land, then we could have corded for Yawgmoth here. But I think we will still be okay. Youngest Wolf, hello. Fetching. Cauldron. It's good. Oh! Dino. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. I can't speak your first name, but it looks very cool. Oh! Rad Misty. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Oh. Well, we have a little cauldron of our own, too. So... One, two, three. We can play Grist. I kind of want to just play Grist here because we only do one. So we go one, two, three, play Grist, uptick. And we have a cord on their turn for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Oh! The Nameless King, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. So I'm going to stop them at their upkeep, I think. Oh! Rob Magic, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, Wall of Roots, or Court of Calling Bug, very cool. I'm going to try to kill their army before they untap with it. Ooh, they have a court of their own. I mean, this is fine. If they're doing this, I don't care. This is not a winning line. I mean, they're doing what they can, but yeah, this is like, they're not going to have any mana for their turn, so I'm just not going to do anything. Blooming Marsh is cool. I'm 
gonna do this. Play out my cauldron. So now they can never really activate theirs. I think I'm just gonna plus here. Yeah. Are we not on Chalice or Void Meter for the new meta? Oh, I, ha I have two Chalice in my sideboard. There's two Chalice in there. One second. So, I don't want to let them untap with Cord Mana here. They're going to be one, two, three. So, I think I'm going to do this. They have two cards in hand. Or maybe it's fine. I don't know. My worry, they just milled over a cord. Or they just, yeah, they, they just used a cord. I'll do this. My worry is that they have, if they have Fatal Push. But they would they would have maybe used it already. Before we had Cauldron in play. So they're going to do that. Uh, I could do this, but I think this is a bait. So I think I'm just going to sack this and draw here. I'm doing this just in case their tapping of the cauldron is a bait and they have like a... Okay, well that was a great draw. Like if they have a, a removal spell in hand and they're activating here and then they we activate to try to kill to take the bowmasters and then they kill our yog moth and then they go to their turn and they put the yog underneath their cauldron does that make sense yeah, i kind of want to avoid that we will play the queen Very nice. When you have it, you have it. And I have it. Zupalort, hello, hello. Very nice. Got to lock it in for one more. Come on. One time for the two time. Two time for the one time. Oi. So now we're, that we're on the draw, we need to look for a hand that has a fast Yawgmoth or removal spell. That's what we're looking for. I think this is pretty good. It's not the fastest Yawgmoth, but it does have removal spell. I like that. Young Wolf. Okay, that's good for us. So hopefully that we can hit a uh, wall. Turn 3, so it's the fastest. Yeah, but I don't necessarily want to be throwing it out there on turn 3 with just a wall in play. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So we want them to play a wall here. That's not a wall, but that's also manageable. Um, that's quite good. I guess I don't need to stop on their upkeep.
Halfling, sure. Apatra. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. So is this actually kind of weird? I guess we don't play... So... Hmm. Hey, what are you playing? So this is a very interesting spot. Because they have... I'm assuming they have a Yawgmoth in hand here. So playing our Yawgmoth next turn is actually not going to be good enough. So... I'm thinking we, I can exile the cauldron now. Or I could just wait. No, I need to, I need to exile the cauldron now. Cause I can't let them, they're going to exile our might in response. It's fine. It's going to make Apatra a bit more annoying. That's quite good. So, play this. We play Grist. So, I could down tick here and take out Halfling and Hapatra, but I think I want to up tick and then just hold up Fatal Push. We'll see what happens. There's the Yogman, as expected. Um, I could kill the Yogmoth, but I kind of, I kind of want to kill the Hapatra. Hapatra's just so good. It's all it's also gonna be kind of awkward, like the timing window to kill Yogmoth if they help if they do it when Hapatra's in play. So I think this is better. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. They're going to reset the young wolf here. Yep. We're going to de deny them a draw by floating the mana here. Hmm. So I think we just down tick before we put our Yawgmoth in play. I mean, we play... We go cord for young wolf and then down tick. Yep. 
Yep. They can draw one, two, they can draw three more cards if they want to sacrifice their Dried Arbor. Hit Young Wolf. Sacrifice. Um, okay, if they're not going to kill my token, then I'm going to just kill their... I'm going to do this one instead. Yeah. Mortuary, okay. The way that they that resolves so fast makes me think that maybe they have a backup yog in their hand. But if they have a backup yog in their hand, then we're fine because we just down pick Ungrist again. They might have a cauldron. Be annoying. Yeah, I guess killing the killing the half or killing the Hapot for there was the correct decision because if we kill Yogmoth and then they just follow up with a cauldron, ugh. That's bad. So I'm glad that I killed the, the Apatra there. They're surveilling. They put it on top. Okay. Interesting. Could be their own Grist. Could be a lot of things. You kill, you don't kill Apatra, you probably lose your board. Yeah. Now there's the Cauldron that I was worried about. Bad peatland. Well, peatland actually looks kind of decent here. Bowmaster. Ooh. Are they going to kill my young wolf and eat it? Oh, this is actually quite annoying. Uh, they're targeting the halfling. Oh, they're gonna kid. They're gonna finish off the halfling. Yeah. Not much we can do about this. Pretty unfortunate. They're resetting the young wolf. Yeah. How many of the Gol Golgari Surveil lands have you been playing with putting in? Yes, it's very much worth putting in the deck. I would highly recommend. All right, what do we need here? Not that. They don't really have, they're not really in a position to sack things, though. What? Come here. Come here. Come here, bro. Okay. So now we're in an awkward spot because if I activate my Yog Moth, then they can get another token and draw more cards. So maybe I just don't do anything. I think I'm just going to shock here. Or, but if I let them untap, then they can... Oh, it's just not a good situation. The difference in power between a Yogg player having a cauldron and not having a cauldron is insane. Okay. What? 
Wall of Ruth, sure. They are getting kind of low, though. I might be able to kill them with Grist. I think what I'm going to do this turn is try to not draw cards. No one wants to activate Yogg. Yeah. <laughs> They're at two. So my wrist is at four. I can deal five damage to them. So if I can make them deal, if I can make them deal four damage to themselves, then maybe we have a chance. Okay. Now, well, this is bad. They don't have a Hapatra. They cord for three. Oh, they get their own Grist. Yeah. They just had everything. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. They're going to steal our Grist. I mean, we can't really stop this. I guess I can stop this one, though. Target here, sacrifice here. This is an interesting draw. I know I'm gonna make their they're gonna make a big token, but I can't let them have a bowmasters with three counters on it if I want to have a chance at winning this game. What are they doing? Ah, oh, they're targeting my Yog Moth. That's right. They could do that. Okay. Sure. I guess I can remove the counter. I don't take them off, y'all, because they still have one more. Mm, yeah. So they're going to do that. Ah, okay. I don't think we're winning this one.
Thank you, Blooming Marsh. Still play it out. Maybe they get a bit overzealous and we can get a Bowmaster in at an opportune time. Okay, they don't see the line. I was thinking they could have definitely just proliferated then and killed us. Okay, they just have the Zula port. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're dead. Yeah, they're going to proliferate. Yep. Tragic. Very close. Again. What can we draw here that would matter? That's actually interesting. Imagine Blood Artist. Yeah, true. Blood Artist would be better in this situation. Oh! Oh, we're just dead, though. They just sack their things in response. Oh, they definitely could have. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Oh, but they can reset the young wolf. Yeah. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're dead. No! The... All right, good game. It was good. The cauldron, goddamn. It's so the difference in power between having a cauldron and not having a cauldron. So so strong. I, but I, you know what? I lost one of my viewers. That means I'm doing a pretty good job. So I basically 5 0 <laughs> That was good. Let's feel solid. Still nothing that I would change, I don't think. Mm, what else? Is there something else? Nope. GG's, GG's. Was that you? Uh, but we'll run this back tomorrow, see how it feels. Uh, but I'm going to take off for now. Thank you for everyone who came by. Thank you for all the likes, comments, subs, follows. I appreciate all you guys. It's Midnight Brazil. Tomorrow's Labor Day. That's good. Labor Day means you have the day off, right? I hope. I hope that means you don't have to work. <laughs> Alrighty, but... Oh! XDito V2, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. But yes, uh, I'm gonna... Go... God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna go before you do that, do that again. <laughs> Alrighty, but I hope you all have a nice rest of your night, and I will see you next time I see you.